it's only the blood of Jesus Christ that has the capacity to deliver you from every blood related issue I'll take that again it's only the blood of Jesus Christ that has the capacity to deliver you from every blood related issue not the blood of bulls not the blood of calves not the ashes of hellfire it is with his own blood he has entered into the most holy place to obtain eternal eternal redemption for us it's only the blood of jesus christ that has the capacity to deliver us from every blood related issue welcome to blood at midnight i like you to lift up your voice and begin to plead the blood seven thunderous times for victory i like you to begin to plead the blood of jesus christ seven powerful times for victory lift up your voice and plead the blood of jesus lift it up and plead it the second time the blood of jesus shout it aloud the third time the blood of jesus say it with understanding the fourth time the blood of jesus say it aloud the fifth time the blood of jesus christ we are not pleading it seven times because it's just a number we saw it in the book of leviticus chapter 4 verse 6 it says the priest shall dip his finger inside the blood and sprinkle it seven times before before the veil of the temple before the veil of the sanctuary when jesus came as our high priest and the blood came out of his body before the veil and the veil was parted into two simply put access granted plead the blood again the sixth time why access has been granted unto you the blood of jesus christ shout it aloud the seventh time the blood of jesus christ i like you to begin to declare tonight in thanksgiving and in appreciation by the blood i gain access to conception by the blood i gain access to opportunities by the blood i gain access to forgiveness of sins by the blood i gain access to salvation by the blood I gain access to unusual movement unusual movement open your mouth and begin to thank God because the blood is what gave the Israelites the capacity to move the capacity to depart the capacity to journey the Israelites were just gaining motion the Israelites were just moving the Israelites were just journeying why the instrument of the blood cannot be involved and you'll be stagnated in one place unless it if you are engaging it casually unless if you are engaging it playfully unless if you are engaging it with sleepy eyes but if you are awake and you're engaging it with so much dexterity and understanding you realize that the blood has the capacity to do anything i like you to begin to thank god tonight i like you to begin to praise him tonight i like you to begin to appreciate him because the blood is causing you to gain motion the blood of Jesus Christ is pushing you from a place of captivity to a place of productivity. The blood is pushing you from a place of stagnation to a place of progress. The blood is pulling you out of the kingdom of darkness. It's pushing you into the kingdom of light. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 and 14. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 and 14. Listen to me my dear friends. The blood has a translating power. He said he has delivered delivered us from the kingdom of darkness the blood has a conveying power he has conveyed us into something else tonight i'd like you to thank god because the conveying power that is in the blood has conveyed you from lack to abundance open your mouth and thank him if you believe if you believe if you don't believe it's going to be a problem abraham was strengthened in faith abraham was praising god because he believed that what god have said in an impossible situation shall be made possible i'd like you to thank god tell him thank you for the conveying power that is in the blood you have been conveyed from the place of darkness to the place of light you have been conveyed from the place of singleness to the place of marriage you have been conveyed from the place of 
barrenness to a place of fruitfulness. You have been conveyed from the place of lack to a place of abundance. You have been conveyed from the place of all kinds of sickness to a place of all kinds of sound health. Begin to praise God. You have been conveyed from the place of failure to the place of success. Come on, celebrate God. You have been conveyed from the place of borrowing to the place of lending. If you believe that there is a conveying power in the blood, I'd like you to begin to thank him. I like you to begin to praise them because the conveying power that is in the blood is at work in your life. The conveying power that is in the blood is at work in your life. We're getting to the end of January and we're just engaging the blood. Listen to me, my dear friends. These are days of testimonies. These are days of increase. These are days and wonders these are days of miracles i like you to thank god we can't be doing this thing consistently for more than 21 days and things will still remain the same it's not possible it's not possible praise him for the conveying power praise him for the conveying power the bible speaking in the book of numbers chapter 33 they left ramses that means after the night of the Passover, Numbers 33, verse 4 and 5, he said, a day after the Passover, they departed. A day after the Passover, he said, for the Egyptians were burying all the firstborn whom the Lord have killed among them, also on their gods. The Lord has executed judgment. Verse 5. Get to verse 3, please. Get to verse 3. That's what I'm looking at. Verse 3. He said, they departed from Ramses in the first month this first month being january you must depart you it, there is nothing that can keep you there unless if you don't understand the power that is in the blood you you must depart how did they depart on the 15th day of the first month january is not tough when the blood is involved type it type it now type it now january is not tough when the blood of jesus is involved type it again this is my best month since i was born I would like you to declare what I'm asking you to declare. Listen, 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 listen. If you don't understand what we are doing, you will not know the mysteries of the kingdom. So, on the 15th day of the first month, listen, on the day after the Passover, the children of Israel went out with boldness in the sight of all the Egyptians. You will depart with boldness. You will depart from lack with boldness. You will depart from begging with boldness. You will depart from sickness and diseases with boldness. Therefore, type it again, I depart with boldness. I'm not departing in a very fearful way. I'm not departing as if I'm sneaking out. I'm not departing as if I'm dodging out. I am departing with boldness. Praise the name of the Lord tonight because departing is taking place tonight. Praise the name of the Lord tonight because departing we are departing from evil you are departing from evil you are departing from evil you are departing every appearance of evil poverty is evil sin is evil sickness is evil disease is evil failure is evil every, there, far, don't accept anything evil don't accept it tonight i'd like you to begin to pray the first prayer point i depart from every form of evil by the blood of jesus anything you know anything hunger is evil yeah yeah anything you know is evil i depart i depart I depart from evil God did not bring them out and allow them to be tenant God brought them out and made them landlord I will give you land therefore I depart from tenancy you are not praying it like you understand it declare it tonight every form of tenancy I depart this year I become a landlord by the blood blood brought them out and turned them into landowners I become a landlord by the blood I, I, I excel by the blood. I experience change of story by the blood. 
I see my testimonies by the blood. I depart from evil. I depart from evil. I depart from evil. I depart from evil. Open your mouth and pray it right now. I depart. I depart. Lift up your voice and declare by the blood of Jesus. I depart from every appearance of evil. The conveying power that conveyed the Israelites out of Egypt and conveyed them to the place of their inheritance. Tonight and in 2024, I am conveyed to the place of my inheritance i am conveyed to the place of my inheritance i am conveyed to the place of my inheritance i shall not be kept in one place i shall not be stagnated in one place make sure you are praying this prayer tonight we have a special prayer session how to draw the bloodline the bloodline against every form of evil there is something evil there is a place the evil evil cannot pass there are places evil cannot assess tonight we are drawing a bloodline against any appearance of evil tonight we are drawing a powerful bloodline against every appearance of evil we are drawing a bloodline against every appearance of evil we are drawing a bloodline against every appearance of evil whatever that is that appearance of evil tonight by the blood of jesus delay is appearance of evil delay is appearance of evil the blood showed up in the night the Israelite left in the morning therefore I declare let there be manifestations of speed by the blood of Jesus the days of delay can you pray right now by the blood of Jesus I, I, I carry the instrument of the blood the days of delay are over delay in job delay in productivity delay in prosperity delay in health and vitality delay in marital settlement delay in conception delay in open doors delay in international open doors delay the days of delay are over pray it open your mouth and declare it i enter into the days of speed i declare manifestations of diverse kinds of speed manifestations of diverse kinds of speed the blood is an instrument that manifests speed it left the cross touch the earth people that were dead for many years came back to life therefore whatever that seems hidden whatever that looks far from me whatever that looks as if i cannot touch it by what is happening here tonight i declare manifestations of speed manifestations of speed by the blood husband appears by the blood wife appear by the blood opportunity appear now by the blood i declare health and vitality becomes a reality by the blood relocation by the blood success in exam by the blood declare it connection by the blood yes open doors by the blood my gates are open by the blood therefore whatever that is shot against me just as it happened to them in Egypt the night the blood was involved the doors of Egyptians were open and the Israelites left declared manifestations of speed by the blood of Jesus manifestations of speed by the blood of Jesus can you type it I am in my days of manifestation of speed by the blood of Jesus I have entered into the days of manifestations of speed by the blood of Jesus I have entered into the days of manifestations of speed by the blood of Jesus I have entered into the days of manifestations can you pray it can you pray it in a moment can you just pray it before we go into some other prayer point I have entered into the days of manifestations of speed by the blood of Jesus Christ I have entered I declare it again I have entered 
into the days i'm repeating it so that it can enter into your spirit i've entered into the days of manifestations of speed by the blood of jesus the days of delay are over type it now type it by the blood of jesus the days of delay are over the days of delay are over let me show you some of the instruments that work speed before we get into the place where we draw the bloodline because tonight we must draw the bloodline we must draw the bloodline nothing crosses the bloodline i had the testimony of a woman the woman came to our church an elderly woman she's a mother to one of our church members in my book blood redefined i shared her testimony in my book blood redefined and in case you don't have that book please kindly um comment let's know that you don't have the book the book will enhance your understanding about the blood of jesus by the way we're going to give out the book free it's free all right it's a um, 200 pages book it's free but we're going to give it out in soft copy okay we're going to give it out in soft copy um I, i'm going to i'm going to send the number um in all our platforms and then the number you will chat with and just chat with that number that you don't have the book all right and um we will send the book across to you we'll be sending two books we'll be sending blow redefined um um we'll also let the blow redefine the believer stronghold all that we've been teaching all that you've been hearing all that we've been engaging um in in this platform we're going to learn a lot from that book and then we have another book all right blow redefined devotional it's a devotional um for the blood and um that devotional is 40 days journey with the blood we're going to give it out free as well we're going to give it out free god told me to give out the book for free so as many people as possible that wants to have the book please uh, a number um will be you know posted in our platform please chat up the number the number will please chat up with your whatsapp number please chat the number up with your whatsapp number and um, we'll add you up to our whatsapp community if you're not there but if you're in our whatsapp community just chat up the number and tell the whatsapp number that the person you are chatting with there you're already in the whatsapp community and then the person can send you the books there are two books we'll send you the books all right the word of that book as at the moment the the blood redefined is seven thousand naira, and the devotional is three thousand naira. two of them are ten thousand naira, but we're giving it out for free we're giving it out for free this platform was not started was wasn't start we didn't start it for monetization we started the platform 2016 for blessings humanity blessing humanity all right and that's what we're still doing okay so listen 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 we're after attention the woman said she came to church and where she was living in the night there is this big terrible rats not one not two not three they used to come out and they would spoil a lot of things in her house so one day she had me teach about drawing the bloodline she had me talk about a big farmer in america in the man's farmland in texas some animals used to come into the farm and spoil his plants and when he had the teachings about the blood the man decided to engage the blood and you know what the man did the man used the communion to draw sprinkle on the farmland all across the farmland everywhere my dear friends in the morning everywhere the blood touched as the animal wants to come in they were dropping dead they were dropping dead all around the line all the animals died so when the woman had me share that testimony the woman decided to spill blood in her house guess what the rats wanted to cross the bloodline all of them died she woke up she saw where she sprinkled the blood she was checking rats dead rats dead every one of them that wants to cross the bloodline could not cross the bloodline tonight we're going to pray one prayer 
no evil will cross the bloodline. Can you declare it? I cover everything that I'm doing. I cover my household. I cover my marital destiny. I cover my career. I cover my womb. I cover my health. I cover my properties. I cover my cars with the blood of Jesus. Can you begin to cover everything you have before I teach you about how to draw the bloodline? Can you begin to declare, I cover my children with the blood. I cover my finances with the blood. I, I cover my properties with the blood. I, I cover everything about me with the blood, my health with the blood. The devil cannot cross the bloodline. Why? They overcame the devil by the blood of a lamp and they also overcame the devil by the word of our testimony. I cover everything by the blood of Jesus. I begin to draw the bloodline. I draw the bloodline over my family. I draw the bloodline. I plead and sprinkle the blood all across. I sprinkle the blood everywhere I am. I sprinkle the blood in my office. I sprinkle the blood around my position where I'm occupying. I sprinkle the blood in the business I'm venturing into and the business I'm already doing. I sprinkle the blood in my ministry. I declare the voice of the blood. Let begin to speak right now. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 24. The Bible speaking. and it says we've come to Jesus. The mediator of a new covenant. We've also come to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better thing. I declare that the bloodline that I'm drawing begin to speak. The blood has a voice. The blood has a voice. It can speak better thing for you. It can also speak the worst thing against the enemy. Open your mouth and declare I draw the bloodline over everything that concerns me. Whatever that have come in. Any form of evil in infiltration. I declare, let the blood judge every evil infiltration. What is happening in your life is not what is supposed to happen. You allow some things to penetrate. Tonight, whatever that have penetrated, any aspect of your life, we plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood against satanic penetration. We plead the blood against every form of evil infiltration. We plead the blood. We come against every contrary thing by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it right now that the voice of the blood is speaking against whatever that have gained entrance into any aspect of our life the blood of jesus christ i'm not sure you are praying the way you ought to pray because you are taking it you know with laxity with complacency you are laid back you are lying down rise up on your feet what is pursuing you is not lying down what is pursuing you is awake what is pursuing you is vibrant what is pursuing you is agile you are the only one that they are pursuing you are lying down they will bond do you they will carry you jesus in concerning this kind of complacency he said you do not know the time of your visitation that's why you are doing what you are doing get up get up and take your destiny serious for once get up get up that's how you slept last year this is just january you are becoming weak you are weak in january so by the time you we enter february you will be the weakest by march you'll be sleeping by April, you'll be snoring. Wake up! Wake up and face your life for once. Wake up! The way you are behaving, that's not how people take what belongs to you then. For right! From the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom suffered violence. And it's only the violent that takes it by force. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up by yourself. Take the communion and sprinkle on your eyes. Wake up! They don't use sleepy eye to take what belongs to person, or else you will take what you don't like. They don't use sleepy eye to take your position, or else you will take what you may not like. By the time your eye clears, say, ah, I was looking for prosperity. I didn't know when I carried twins. And by the time you carry twins, your wife will have another twins. And because you have finished giving birth, because you are sleeping, that's why you went and carried another person's blessings. Wake up! Before you go and carry another husband. Meanwhile, you're married. Because you are sleeping. You didn't know when you just carry blessings. You ran. Only for you to get home and open it. God, you open it. It was blessing of your husband. Say, but I'm married. He said, it's too late. Wake up! Revelation chapter 5, verse 9 and 10. Wake up. Wake up. Revelation chapter 5, verse 9 and 10. I'd like you to understand what is happening here. I want to show you how to draw the bloodline. And they sang a new song saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you are slain. 
But you have redeemed us to God by your blood. Now, this is the place the bloodline was drawn. You redeemed us out of every tribe. The bloodline was drawn against tribe. Out of every language or tongue, the bloodline was drawn from the person, people you speak the same language with. What happened to them will not happen to you. From people, talks about family members, you can't be like them. From nation, talks about a group of people. You can't be like a Nigerian. It's not a must that they gave it to you in the same family that you must be like that, like your father. No. No. It's not a must that people that speaks from a particular tribe, people that speaks maybe Yoruba, people that speaks maybe Alsa, people that speaks maybe Calabari or whatever, that you must be like them. No. The blood redeems people from four categories. From tribe, from language, from family, from nation. Listen. You're going to declare, I draw the bloodline around these four areas. I'm a Nigerian, but if I walk out of the shores of this country, at the airport, they will treat me well. They can't treat me as a Nigerian. They won't suspect me as if I'm a criminal. They won't look at me as someone that is corrupt because of what the blood has the capacity to do. We're going to open your mouth and declare it. Because I'm from this family does not mean that what happened to them must happen to me. No. The blood has redeemed me out of tribe, out of people, out of language, out of nation. The bloodline has been drawn. Redemption draws a line. Open your mouth and declare it. The bloodline has been drawn against evil. It's only something good that flows from my family that will enter me. It's only things that are good that flows from my people that will enter me. It's only things that are good that flows from my nation that will enter me. I draw the bloodline against evil, against evil, against evil in my family, whatever that is genetical, you know, that is in the gene or right of my father, my mother, it cannot cross if it's negative. It can cross. I draw the bloodline. Whatever that is obtainable that they will look at you and say, yes, that's how they behave in that family. I tell people that there are people you see, you tell them that the, the prostitution runs in their family. It's not as if the lady or the guy wants to be jumping up and down. Alcoholism runs. That's how their father was drinking. That's how their mother was drinking. Listen to me. I like you to pray right now and declare that's how they are hot tempered that's how they have a lion tongue that's how they keep jumping from one man to another it can happen in my family draw the bloodline I came out from a family that divorce runs in the family that's the kind of family I came out from my mom and my dad they are not together but I'm 16 years in marriage going to 17 having the best of time in my, I mean the best of time having the best of time why? I knew about bloodline early. I knew about it. There are other family threats that if I tell you now, it looks as if I'm just doing armable with my family. No, I won't tell you. But I knew about it on time. I saw it. I said, no way, this one. You can't cross this line. You, you cannot. Cannot. Owning properties in the family where I came from was an issue. Property was running in my head. One time I prayed and prayed. My elder sister was at the verge of her marriage being broken. Today, they are 20 something years in marriage. Everything working out well because I stood in gap and the, you can't cross the bloodline. This girl must enjoy her marriage. I'd like you to lift up your voice and begin to draw the bloodline against every negative threat. Every negative threat draw the bloodline you are redeemed by his blood out of kindred you are redeemed by his blood out of tribe out of nations out of people draw the bloodline draw the bloodline declare it i draw the bloodline don't be quiet don't be tired i draw the bloodline against satanic manipulation in my family i draw the bloodline against the tribe that i'm coming from I draw, this thing is a negative threat in the tribe where you are coming from they say Igbo people are like this but you can draw the bloodline people will look at you they won't know whether you are Igbo outside Yoruba or Edo they won't know where you are coming from draw the bloodline draw the, let people accept you for you not by tribe not by family draw the bloodline I'm not accept people don't even know the family I'm coming from people don't even know my siblings but people will accept me for me by the blood draw the bloodline my dear friends 
come on open your mouth and pray and declare it i draw the bloodline by the blood of jesus i draw the bloodline no evil yes no family evil no ancient evil no landmarks i draw the bloodline i, I declare it tonight the bloodline has been drawn and the bible says in verse 10 and have made us kings and priests to our god and we shall reign he didn't say we shall suffer he didn't say he didn't say we shall we shall be tolerated he didn't say we will be stagnated he said we shall reign you know what it means to reign in that small family where you are coming from the blood will bring you out that you'll be known you'll be known in nations you'll be known in communities you'll be you will not be known for evil what i'm asking you to pray is the little prayer i prayed very well my life started coming out like light in one little family i was raised in from one room i was raised from one room i prayed this prayer with everything in me i prayed it i prayed it all i'm what i'm telling you i prayed it i'm not joking i prayed it i started seeing my life coming out coming out i started seeing myself my little me by the blood of jesus started making global impact started affecting lives in america affecting lives in uk affecting life in united arab emirates affecting life there is nothing you are doing that you cannot use to affect life if you pray this prayer open your mouth and declare i draw the bloodline i draw it tonight i draw the bloodline no 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 evil will cross it whatever that flows from my maternal paternal grandparents whatever like, it can't cross this line no way i can't have the form of greatness and i will not be great i can't have the form of wealth and i will not be wealthy therefore i draw the bloodline and one thing about bloodline is that no evil passes the bloodline the egyptians desired to pass the bloodline but god told moses the egyptians you see today you shall see them no more therefore i declare over your life the evil you've seen before now that flows from your lineage that flows from your family that flows from everywhere you are coming from you shall see them no more declare it and i like you to type it boldly that the evil that flows from my bloodline i see them no more the evil that flows from my bloodline whether it's lying tongue whether it's any form of evil whether it's outburst of anger whether it's in form of stealing whether it's in form of going up and after a while you come down there are parents that i have seen that they will rise after a while they come down and it start happening to their children they rise and they fall that evil cannot cross the bloodline i'm giving you the description so that you will pray very well you can't cross the bloodline you can't cross the bloodline i say it again they, you can't cross the bloodline pray like a minute now let me show you what he got for us revelation chapter 5 verse 12 revelation 5 12 it says saying with a loud voice this is what the blood got for us the lamb that was slain he said what is the lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessings I speak forward over your life from now onwards by the power that is in the blood of Jesus you will see better days from now whatever that made the Israelites to experience change of story from January from 15th day of January I declare before January is over you will sing a new song I make a declaration that from now onwards you have escaped the evil that runs in your bloodline take up the communal material everybody take up the communal material everyone under the sound of my voice take up the communal material take the flesh and take the blood I'd like you to listen very attentively People don't understand the potency that is in the blood. That's why they don't appropriate it for a change of story. Tonight, I declare the DNA in his blood will be transfused into your blood. 
Inside his blood, there's no failure. Inside his blood, there's no stagnation. Inside his blood, there is no evil. Therefore, as we partake of this communion tonight, whatever that flows in him, let it be transfused to us. I've told us time with that number, struggling is inside the blood. Struggling to marry, struggling to be healthy, struggling to live a better life, struggling to be wealthy, struggling, struggling, struggling is inside the blood. In his blood, there is no struggle. From tonight, I declare by the understanding that is entering you tonight, by revelation that is entering you tonight, you will not struggle for anything. You will never struggle for anything. Your faith will be bringing things to you. Faith will cause things to come to you. They ask Isaac, ask Jacob, how come you got it so quickly? Said the Lord your God brought it to me. I declare, and I would like you to pray, that everything that I will be getting from now, God will bring them to me. There shall be speed of manifestation. God will bring them to me. Genesis 27 verse 20. God will bring them to me. God will bring them to me. God will bring them to me. But Isaac said to his son, how is it that you have found it so quickly? My son. That would be a story. That would be a testimony. It's me and you that graduated at the same time. What happened? Tell me. In our local Nigerian language, they say, cut soap for me. How? Oh! Is it that you found it so quickly? And he said, because the Lord, your God, brought it to me. Lift up your voice and speak forward. The blood of Jesus will pull things to me. Ephesians chapter 3, chapter 2, verse 13. The blood of Jesus shall pull things to me. The blood of Jesus shall bring things near to me. Can you pray that prayer? The magnetic power that is in the blood begin to magnetize everything that has been the deepest desire of my heart. Pray it. I, I speak for it over somebody's life. Car will come to you. I speak for it. Job will be brought to you. Opportunities will be brought to you. You will receive healings without knowing and it's only when you check your body you find out that you are healed somebody was slated for second surgery a few three four days ago and the person called my wife the younger sister called my wife and my wife said get the communal material you got it said sprinkle it on the affected part they've done the first surgery say yes and they're going to do the second surgery say no way what happened he said there is about 1000 milligram of fluid what my wife said sprinkle the blood there and they sprinkle the blood went to run a test the same day the fluid disappeared everything gone the lady worships in our church the younger sister is not a member of our church but the lady called my wife about three days ago and my wife said sprinkle the blood no no second surgery they went to the first lab went to the second lab went to one of the best lab centers in the city of enugu they said we can't find fluid there's no more fluid but before then they saw fluid listen listen the blood will bring healing faster for you how it will come you'll be surprised I said, the blood will bring fast healing. That same healing duplicated itself. My daughter went for surgery. After then, the, the, the growth was still there. We were wondering, how come we spent this amount of money and the growth did not disappear? And the doctor said, a, a very professional doctor at the consulting level. He said, please bring your daughter back. My wife said, bring what? I took the communion, bless it, sprinkle on the affected part. Few weeks later, we asked our daughter to show us the affected part. The growth left. Listen to me. The blood will bring a husband for you. Sprinkle it on yourself. To bring a desired wife. Sprinkle it on yourself. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 13. He said, but now in Christ Jesus, you who once we are far off, testimonies that we are far off, has been brought near. By what? By the blood of Christ. Things that we are far off. Begin to speak forward. You have been pulled near by the blood. Everything that seems far, I magnetize you by the blood. You are not praying. You are not calling you by name. Declare it now. I share these two testimonies to help you. Declare it now. Buildings that you thought you were going to build in the next one year, 
it will be completed in six months I say it will be completed in six months gifts blessings you've never seen in your life it will be brought to you in minutes pray this prayer pray this prayer like a minute I've seen the power that is in the blood favor you have not seen before especially financial favor financial favor financial favor such as you've never seen before you shall see it by the blood of Jesus take the communion material please type it type it things will be brought near to me by the blood and while you are typing it can we share in all our handles wherever you're joining us from in all our social media handles anywhere you're joining us from please can you share can you just share please can you just share can you just share all right can we just share and um let people derive the value we're deriving from this meeting can we just share it i i, I turn the communion into the blood of jesus i turn the flesh and and the drink into the blood of jesus as we partake of it right now our life has been turned into a magnetic field it magnetizes great things it magnetizes better things it magnetizes blessings it pulls close to myself things i never imagined how it's going to come and i declare my life has become a place of bloodline no evil crosses my life no evil crosses my life begin to pray that prayer as you take the communion now take the communion in a moment take the communion and begin to declare it my life has been turned into a magnetic field for blessings no blessings will pass you by no favor will pass you by you begin to pull them it says but now in Christ Jesus you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood now in Christ Jesus testimonies that we are far away you've been pulled near here by the blood no in Christ Jesus everything that seems far has been brought near by the blood can you just pour the communion material on the place in the place where you are and just declare that I draw the bloodline. I draw the bloodline. I draw the bloodline. Nothing crosses the bloodline. Now, can you do it like a circle form round about you? You draw the bloodline. Nothing crosses the bloodline. Stay at the center. Just draw it. Just draw it. As I'm pouring it, just pour it. Stay at the center. You have drawn a line round about your life. The Bible says the mountains surround Jerusalem. So as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so as the Lord surrounded his people. I like to lift up your voice and say, I am surrounded by the blood. I use myself as a point of contact, my family, yeah, my business, yeah, my career, my marriage, my health, everything about me. There is a blood round about me. There's a blood round about me round about me and the blood is just speaking is repelling evil is speaking better thing is repelling evil is speaking better thing open a mouth and declare it that the roundabout of the blood is what is surrounding me the sprinkling of the blood round about me has created a circle therefore this circle is a circle of goodness and mercy this circle is a circle of testimonies this circle is a circle of speed this circle is a circle of signs and wonders this circle is a circle of only goodness this circle is a circle of favor a circle of favor open your mouth and declare it revelation chapter 12 verse 16 the earth shall help you every evil that is projected the earth will help you to swallow them every evil that is projected the earth will help you to swallow them every evil that is projected against any aspect of your life the bible said the earth helped the woman the earth helped the woman people are in need because they don't know what they need that's the major challenge of my generation when it's time for you to pray you're not praying when it's time for you to fast you're not fasting 
you feel it things are just normal things are not normal things are controlled in the realm of the spirit and the only thing that assesses the spiritual realm is prayer and your thought your thought assesses the realm of the spirit and your prayer assesses the realm of the spirit one instrument God gave us is the instrument of the blood instrument of the word the person of the Holy Spirit the place of faith place of praises these are spiritual entities that assesses the realm of the spirit causing a wave of changes declare you tonight this earth shall help me every evil that is projected by this blood I've sprinkled on this earth the earth will open its mouth and swallow it incantation and divination divination that is pronounced against any aspect of someone's life in this platform the earth will open its mouth and swallow it the bible says and the earth helped the woman and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon has spewed out of his mouth i shall be helped by this earth through the blood of jesus type it boldly and declare it i shall be helped no evil will come near me in 2024 i shall be helped by the blood of jesus i shall be helped by the blood of jesus come and pray the prayer i shall be helped i representing all that i do my family my siblings my household i shall be helped by the blood of jesus declare it declare it don't be complacent don't be gentle don't be laid back I shall be helped by the blood of I shall be helped maritally. I shall be helped. Pray it again. I shall be helped. Declare it like you mean it. I shall be helped. A young lady, I had his testimony on how she got married. I said, This is the help of God. A young lady that has a child. And she came to visit her pastor. And while she was spending one or two days with the pastor, a young man came to see the pastor. And he saw the young lady. He said, there is nothing that will stop me from marrying this young lady. They told this young guy that this young lady has a child. This young lady was in the pastor's house engaging the blood as if she is drinking maybe soft drink, wine. Enga you, I mean, for seven days of staying in the pastor's house, drinking it, baiting with it, speaking it forth, the guy came and said, it is you or never. They told the guy that the baby is almost one year, going to two years. And there was an introduction from the old husband before the girl said he's not marrying again. He said, I don't care. I'm marrying both the lady and the child. Today, they are living a better life. Loving themselves as if both children are the guy's children. How? When the blood comes, it, it makes you clean. You look as if... That was what happened to me. I contacted STD thinking I'm having fun by sex. You know, I've been telling people in this platform, there is no fun in sexual sin. <laughs> All the fun you will have in sexual sin, you have it in marriage. I'm married, I can tell you for free. That thing you want to steal, it, 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 they will catch you. And the only way they will catch you is through diseases and pregnancy. The day it will explode, you will regret it. You will regret it. You are going to have sex for the rest of your life. In fact, you have sex to a point that when you get married, you'll be looking at sex. Sex will be looking at you. You will just be sleeping. You say, no. When I come back from work. And when you come back from work, you say, I want to rest. You be, you, now you go tired. I'm talking to both sex, both male and female. So I contacted the disease. It was the blood that redeemed me. Gave me a brand new life. After having my children, my triplets and my twins, one day I said, let me just do a medical checkup. I went to run a full test. The lab technician, scientist or whatever, brought out my result and was asking me, sir, are you a virgin? After five children. After about how many years of marriage? Are you? I said, what do you mean am I a virgin? I'm a father. Can't you see my ring? He, he was checking everything. I asked him to run a full test. He said, from what I'm seeing, it looks as if you've not had intercourse in your life. I said, for where? And I asked me another question. He said, are you a believer? I said, I'm a pastor. He said, no wonder. He said, you are looking fresh from what I saw in this test. The blood made me to look fresh. If I tell you my age, you won't believe. The blood, I use it to wash my face. 
I use it to renew my life. I use it. I'm, I'm looking. If I come out now, you think I'm 25. Because of the blood. A lot of people are growing old. I see some of my mates. I look at them. I say, what's happening to you? Are you okay? Why are you looking this old? It renews life. It transforms lives. It makes things to look new. Pray it for yourself. By tonight's engagement of the blood, all things shall become new. If any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. If anyone engages the blood, if anyone understands the mysteries of the blood, everything is passed away. Open your mouth and declare things are passed. All things are passed away. Can you pronounce it? Every old experience that you don't like. Old things are passed away. Old things are passed away. You can't play religion and think you are doing God. You are doing yourself. All things are passed away. I have not regretted being a believer. I didn't say a Christian. Because Christianity sometimes, they want to turn it into religion. I have not regretted being a believer. I have not regretted engaging the mystery of the blood. Pray! All things are passed away! All things! Not some. All things have become new. Speak forth. All things have become new. All things have become new. Just pray for yourself. And type it boldly. By the blood of Jesus, everything has become new. Can you, can you say it? I just had it in my spirit. Someone that is having health challenge. Someone that is having health challenge. There is a renewal of your health by the engagement of the blood now. Someone that is having health challenge. There is a renewal of your health by the engagement of the blood. Someone that is having health challenge. There is a renewal of your health by the engagement of the blood. In fact, this health challenge, you don't even want to share with anybody. There is! The renewal of your health by the engagement of the blood. Tell them thank you as we wrap up. Tell them thank you as we wrap up. Celebrate him as we wrap up. Tomorrow we're going to be dealing with um, ancient landmarks. Ancient landmarks shall be dealt with by the blood. What has been drawn like a line that nobody crosses that line. Nobody has ever gotten to the peak level of his life in your lineage you will cross it all we will show you how to do it thank you almighty God begin to give him praise for our amazing time in his presence thank you for what you've done we give you all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ will it be a good time for us to give we don't compel anybody to give we give as we are led okay we give as we are led and those that understand giving they are the one that is partaking of the blessings of giving and if you don't understand giving, maybe one of those days in the platform, I'll teach us about giving, all right? But for now, you give. <laughs> Trust in God that it will be a seal up of all that I've prayed tonight. And I declare, you will testify. As January is coming to an end, I declare that the seed we are planted in January is the beginning of a new era of harvest for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Cast your offering and whatever you're giving, the details are showing on the screen. And always remember, the prayer point details are also there, and the testimony details are also there. Feel free to share your testimony. Feel free also to send your prayer point and give your offering. God bless you. I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Same platform, same time. Until then, you keep winning by the blood. But please don't forget, in the month of February, by 19th, we're going to run our annual 40 days journey with the blood. Apart from the um, 366 days journey, we do it on WhatsApp. So we have to let us know the platform where we do it, okay? So if you are not yet in our WhatsApp platform or WhatsApp community, where we have about 17,000 people in that community in different groups in WhatsApp, we encourage you, please let us know. And um, the number we shared on the platform, please hook up with that number and uh, let the number know. Uh, chat him up with your WhatsApp. He will add you up to the WhatsApp community. It's always an amazing time for us. Uh, too many people are on our WhatsApp community. Some of them are not in either of our platforms. So we do that meeting every year. We started it in 2016, and this is the eighth year running. It promises to be an amazing time. God bless you. I'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, same time, same platform. Till then, keep winning by the blood.